guys welcome to go brunch with analysis 101 i'm kate thank you so much for subscribing thank you for joining me and if you haven't subscribed please do and don't forget to hit the bell so you know when i upload more videos all right guys today i'm going to talk about how to react when the new supplier reaches out to you tries to contact you um i want you or hopefully you remember that as you heal the focus should be on you actually the focus should always be on you as you come out of this because you need to get your head in order after the craziness that we just came out of to be able to fully function and for you and for the children because of course you know you're the only parent so when the new supplier reaches out to you i want you to remember two things one you do what is right for you you do what is right for you and like i said uh the focus after you leave this should be on you and two you owe nobody anything nobody anything at all you know one let's go back to the first point you do what is right for you and doing what is right for you is pretty much not going through self-care because you know while we are with these people that is non-existent because we are busy dancing around whatever it is we thought that was of course now we know knowledge is power but then we don't know what we're doing we just all we're trying to do is make a marriage work make a relationship work so when you come out you need to, you you actually realize that the whole time you're dancing around the narcissist that you forgot about yourself in the different areas of your life probably so when you come out that is the focus should be on you because you like i said you need to get your mind together to for you to be able to for things to fall into place and for you to be the the rock that the kids would need because you know it's not going to come out from the other side nothing is good is coming out from the other side with the narcissist you know so when i say do do what is right for you of course means that um it's about you now you focus on you you focus on your healing you focus on you resolving issues within yourself whatever it is that you need to with, resolve within yourself to make sure or at least to um do take the necessary measures for not to get into that kind of relationship again. And, you know, you see these people as they come, you know, not to fall into that kind of relationship anymore. You do that. And that might involve cutting some people off, even people that you know, you know. So the last thing that you need is to entertain the new supply. They might be good people. They, who knows? You don't know who they are. They might know who you are. They might not know who you are, but it doesn't matter. At that point, this point is, is is all about you you need to keep the focus on you and of course the second point i made was you don't owe anybody anything you don't you don't owe anybody anything you know you don't owe the new supply to engage with them because your kids go over there where wherever it is they are you know no <laughs> you do not because once you start engaging with the new supply that is a new room a new channel a new portal for this narcissist to come back because they're going to use that to the advantage they're going to use that to the advantage so no matter how good the new supply is or how lovely it is you know i mean let me pause here as long as your kids are okay your kids because that is paramount this is the number one thing is that your kids are okay then nothing else you don't sh you shouldn't have any issue with a new supply as long as the kids your kids nothing is wrong with them they're not treating them bad or anything like that they're not hurting them you shouldn't have any issues with a new supply you shouldn't you know so when they reach out to you like i said as long as the kids nothing is wrong with the kids then there's no need to engage with not the, the new supply. There's no uh, reason to um, uh, for them to even reach out to you. But I've seen that sometimes they do. You know, social media or even through the kids, which, like I said, never allow that. Don't, don't, don't use your kids as messengers for between you and the narcissist or between, the narcissist, between you and the new supply. Don't, don't even entertain that at all. You know, so you put a stop to that once you notice that you put a stop to that. But there's no need for them to reach out. I, but if they do reach out, you remember the focus should be on you as you heal. And you don't owe anybody anything. And if they're not hurting the children, 
and they're using the children as messengers, you shouldn't have any issue with a new supply. There's no need to entertain them. There's no need to engage with them because like I said, if you do, the narcissist is looking for any, any entry point to come in and it could be through that. So that's why in as much as they might be nice people, they, they don't know about you. They just found that they were fooled too. Like the, you know, you were fooled and conned, you know, unfortunately, yes. But because you now know what you know with the narcissist, you know, they wake up every day looking for ways to undermine you. And especially if you're the one that left the relationship, they stay busy with that stuff. Even if they left, it doesn't matter. Point is, if you're thriving, if you're trying to heal, you're trying to re uh, uh, recover, they don't want to see any of that. So if you start engaging with a new supply and you become some sister wife or hus brother husbands, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, you know, they, that is an avenue for the narcissist to come in. And that is absolutely, absolutely not what you need as you're trying to recover and get your, you know, you get, get your mind together. You don't need that. So you remember these two things, you don't owe anybody anything and you have to do what's right for you. What is right for you as you come out of this toxic relationship is to get your mind in order. And for you to get your mind in order, you need to turn all focus inwards. And you realize when you do this, you realize that there's no need to engage with anybody. Really, as long as your kids are safe, as long as nobody's hurting your kids, you need to leave that relationship as nice as they might be as good people as it is they might be you have nothing against them you shouldn't have anything against them as long as you're not hurting your children but you need to do right by yourself and heal and continue healing and continue thriving by closing every opening that might pop up for the narcissist to re-enter you already have the link with the children limit that if you open another portal with a new supply, that is another contact point. That is absolutely the last thing you need. All right, guys, get your mind together and everything's falling into place. Like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Take care.